This is a story about a girl. Her name is A.B. Some call her Ave. This is a story about a girl and she's part of the plan of God. And nothing can ever separate her from it. She's got bravery. She's not afraid. She's not afraid of what people think. And nothing her. Her story is a great one you will hear. Okay, where we left off. God ordered it that way. Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 17, 18. Women shouldn't be called prostitutes. Leviticus 21 verse 1 through 3. Women part of religious ceremony. Women can be part of the religious ceremony. So men and women were equal in serving and worshiping God. Wow, wow. Women can also preach. Now that we see that there were equal moments in the law that women can do, we also know that there were times that women can preach the word. Even though in some parts of the New Testament, the Bible says that, that God ordered women to do their part and tell of God's glory and spread the message to everywhere. Right here you will find the verses. Women can preach the word. There was moments in the Old Testament God said and Jesus said that all to give the gospel. Here are some verses. Psalm 68 verse 11 says the Lord commands to give good news by the woman. As you see since Psalm 68 Women were told to give the good news, like Jesus says, and by doing so they spread the word. Back in those days, there was no way for women and men to know the Lord of God through books, like we do today. Instead, they all knew them through songs. Those incredible things of a woman! When Miriam sang her song, when Deborah sang her song, it was the only way back in those days that people knew of the existence of the people of Israel and the God of Israel. And women were proclaiming it. They proclaimed it through David, when David slain his thousands and Saul slain his hundreds. That is the only way, and women did all the job. See that woman in the old days preached by singing. That is how people knew the stories of Israel, like 1 Samuel chapter 18, verse 6. There are 185 songs in the Bible, and 80% are in Psalms. The first one is Exodus chapter 15, verse 1 to 20. God's victory over Egypt. Deborah's song, Hannah's song, the Psalms, Son of God, Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 1 through 43. The list, the list continues, the Song of Songs, the Song of Mary, Luke chapter 1, verse 46 through 55. The Will Song, number 21, verse 17 through verse 18. And Anna's song, Luke chapter 2, verse 36 through 38. Even though Anna, her song is lost, there is records that she did wrote them. But this means the song is how people knew of God and its people. Women sang and told all people through song, like Nazman's conversion through a little girl who told of a prophet. 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 1 to 27. 
Women have preached in the Old Testament and in the New Testament, Jesus says. Matthew chapter 16, verse 15 to 20. Luke chapter 9, verse 23 through 27. Also, Jesus said, Luke 24, verse 44. And know that these are the important verses the Bible says. Oh, wow, wow. Here are the things the woman can do by preaching the word. Now that we've seen the things that made women a higher status, give equal status, being in religious laws of slavery, and in preaching the word, women can also be in the lowest status. That unfortunately, women had so many good things in the law, but there were some exceptions. A woman cannot be a priest, but can be a prophet. Just like Exodus chapter 15, verse 1 to 20, with Miriam being the first prophetess. Woman had that? Oh, wow, wow. Another situation is divorce. Only man can ask for divorce. A woman cannot solicit to the courts or the council to be divorced from his husband. Deuteronomy chapter 24, 1 through 4. Only man can file for divorce, not woman. Another exception is war. Women cannot be recruited inside the army. Only men can be inside the army. Hard decisions. Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 1 through 19. And in it, only men, only men can be sent to war. One thing that women cannot also do is be a witness. Even though there are verses that say that witnesses can be, can be both woman and man, people still in the times of the Mosaic Law didn't let women participate with prejudice and problems in those days. For instance, the Halak, the are rules written by Rabbi, who explain how to resolve those problems say that only men that are fit, that are free, that are not sick, can be witness inside a court. But know that women throughout history and rabbis have said that even though they were having problems, but they still use women in some instances. And women can become witnesses in some parts of the court. Like the marriage, the section of the Ketubah and the Kedush. Also the Giyur, which is converting people into Hebrews. But with the consent of the individual. And the rabbi, judging the whole case, can ask the woman if she saw or is witness of anything, uh, participate. But can also decide not to if it's going to be negative in the case. So people, in those segments of the law, Women can be witnesses, and rabbis, in some certain instances, allow women to be witnesses. Oh, wow, wow. But for you to understand, it depends the case, and a rabbi will decide because of society in those times. Back in those times, people, remember that men were the one who sustained the family, who gave food, who owned the property. They were given all that stuff, and they were the majority. Women were given by the law equal status, and were given a higher status. But still, in society in those times, did not recognize those things, because it more depended on the point of a sword, on the law of the strongest, and an eye for an eye. But to find an exception inside the law, there is one. In Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 15, a mother and a father, if a child 
grows to be something that they did not want and becomes bad, they decided if it's going to be punished. So a mother and a father can be witness and a lady can be a witness. The other thing they cannot do is be a judge. Deuteronomy chapter 17 verse 8 to 13. Women can be judged in this verse. No woman is mentioned, only men. So people, that is another exception that women cannot be. Another exception is that women cannot be queens. Deuteronomy chapter 17 verse 14 through 20. Here we see that only men are called by God. But there was an exception. And one queen was made queen of Israel, and that's Ataliah. Kings verse 11. No. Second of Kings chapter 11 verse 1 to 20. Even though she was a bad queen for some, she's still one of the first queens and she reigned for 6 long years. And she even saved one of the people of the descendancy of the kingship to become the next king. So even though a woman was queen for six years. Wow, they have laws like that? No, those are the things that in those times that before the Mosaic law, in the Mosaic law, the law did protect women. And even though people in the modern times don't know it, they think all the women were oppressed in those times. There were moments and times in the laws that existed that protected women's rights and gave way for women to have their rights and their part in history. All the high and equal and low status were all part of the history of the Jewish people. And women have their part in the history of the women people and know it's a big one and there are many things and there are more information that's going to be revealed now that we've seen the law we're going to keep looking and we'll see through the Bible many instances that women did their part in the plan of God She heard Wendy everything about sex. Yeah, it's incredible. I didn't thought so. The concert about H O O M, the greatest male group out there. Wow, it's really amazing. I really like it. It's cool. Oh, good thing you can go, Wendy. I talked to my mom and she said no. I hate her sometimes. Wow, Evie. It's incredible what Bao said. I really didn't know that about the woman in those times. I just saw they didn't do all those things. They had something smaller, a smaller role. But good that I went with you. You're going to the concert of home? Really amazing that the best boy band out there. Oh, too bad, Evie. It sucks. I know, Wendy. I'm going to talk to Melissa. She wanted to talk to me. I'm going to tell her what I found with Bao. Okay, Evie. If you see Melissa, tell her I love her. Okay, A.B. Don't worry. Go talk to your mom. It's not fair, Mom. 
Why does Wendy go to the car center and I can't go? Amy, I don't want you to go to the car center. You don't know they're drinking alcohol and taking drugs. I don't care what you say, Amy. It's gonna be that way and period. It's too dangerous. But mom, it's so unfair. No, Amy. Your mother told me you arrived late last night. I told her from a discussion before. I don't want you to go late. You go right up there, young lady. Stay up there. You got that? Okay, Mom.